Hello and welcome to my review for Hunt for the Wilder People, directed by Taika Waititi and starring Julian Dennison and Sam Neill. Here's the short version. This is a quirky little film that made me cry a little bit and laugh an awful lot. The story is that a troubled youth is adopted by an elderly couple and through a series of misunderstandings, a grumpy old man and the youth have to hide out in the bush. Now the film's opening shots and quite a few of the later ones are heavily reminiscent of Lord of the Rings but I think that might be due to some law to which New Zealand filmmakers are subject. For the most part, the director eschews any fancy camera gimmickry and allows the breathtaking New Zealand landscape to speak for itself, providing for the film a backdrop both beautiful and unforgiving. This leads into one of the film's true strength. It doesn't try to sugarcoat anything. There are scenes of heartache in this so strong they knock the wind out of you, and they happen without any warning or lead in, just like in real life. The flip side of this is that there are funny moments that sneak in from the side and make you laugh so hard it's difficult to breathe. Speaking of not sugarcoating everything, teenagers, aren't they awful? Aren't they just terrible? The film understands this and doesn't waste a lot of time trying to convince you they're anything other than deeply unpleasant. Nor does it try to beat you around the head with the idea that gruff old men have a heart of gold. Sam Neill is an old pro and he knows that grumpy wilderness types might not be bitter to the core, but they don't wear their heart on their sleeves. He gives a performance that is exactly as much as it needs to be, and no more. As a result, the protagonists feel real, and so as we start to warm to them, it is an affection more genuine than you might feel in a more sickly, saccharine family film. The climax of this film is a hectic car chase through terrain as crazy as the driving. Now, some people may argue that this scene was unnecessary, or even that it's not in keeping with the tone with the film. They might be right for saying this, but they'd definitely be annoying for doing so. The climax is mental and over the top, and I loved it, every second of it. It doesn't go on so long that it starts to drag, and as a petrol head, I love the vehicle that they're using for it. So in summary, it's a very funny film with a warm heart, which isn't schmaltzy or so cheesy that you can't watch it if you're lactose intolerant. Thank you for watching.